Hi, welcome to our project, Under the Bay. My name is Tian Yu, and I'm the UI designer and engineer for this project. This project is developed for the course game 477, Community-Based Game Design, under the guidance of Professor Elka Khan. We had to work with a client from another field of study and create a game based on their needs. Our goal this year was to develop a game to educate K-12 students on the transitions from the estuary to the coastal ocean ecosystem and the importance of mice shrimp to the coastal food webs. As a UI designer and engineer of this project, I know my work will be the first impression player will receive. My goal is to make everything as visually pleasing as possible. Since we are working with a game that focuses on the ecosystem, I made the main menu uh, a little bit more alive. I also work on the option menu, providing player with some basic accessibility such as resolution adjustment, full screen toggle, and volume adjustment. The volume adjustment are split into three ways, with some master volume controlling all the elements, the music volume only control the background music, and the sound effect volume, which will control only the sound effect. Let's take a look at our game. I was also able to add a loading screen. Um, in the loading screen, it will also randomly give the student a quick fact to learn. It also includes a tutorial on how to play the game. And once a level is ready to play, uh, it will tell the player to press any key to continue. Uh, the main focus of our game is uh, we are an American chef trying to collect all the swarm of mice shrimp in the scene. The main inspiration behind this game is from Assassin's Creed uh, Discovery Tour mode. We wanted this game to be an educational, but at the same time fun to explore. Although they are called shrimp, mice and shrimp are not true shrimp. As you can see, every time when the player collects a swarm of mice and shrimp, um, it will tell them a small fact about the mice shrimp or the Chesapeake Bay and it has a subtitle to help the student to follow along. There's also a radar system uh, to make the collecting the shrimp easier and finding them much easier. We try to recreate the ecosystem of the Chesapeake Bay as uh, realistic as possible. Uh, as you can tell, the water is a little bit more foggy because that's just how the bay is. It's not that good in terms of visibility and we were able to achieve what we wanted. Uh, once the player collects all of the shrimp, they will be taken to another level which we design. Uh, in this vertical slice, we have a cheat code, so I'll take you guys to the next level. Now, here's uh, another level that we have, which is a night level, because uh, we wanted to educate the players on how my station behave during the nighttime compared to the daytime. So at nighttime, they're supposed to be uh, way on top of the water. And we have 10 more facts about the shrimp and the bay at the nighttime, too. There are actually multiple species of mice that live in the Chesapeake Bay. Also, we don't want the the scene to feel too dead, so we added uh, some fish swimming around. Also some shipwreck. Some shipwrecks date back to the war of 1812 against the British fleet. 
Also, just to be a little more fun, we added some uh, sci-fi element to it, like the submarine, even though they do not exist. Uh, I mean, I don't think any scientists will put them in the bay. We have the tall grass area right here. And we also have a trash area that I wanted to show if I can find it. Right, it's right here. One of the Easter eggs that we were able to show the player was a pineapple in the sea. And I wonder who lives in the pineapple under the sea. Lastly, uh, we do have an in game pause menu that will pause the game. It will take the give the player the option to uh, open the setting or go back to the main menu and once the player have collected all the shrimp or the collectible again we have a cheat code right here to take you to the next level it will tell the player you have collected all the objectives and congratulations and this will take us to the end scene where we uh, congratulate the player and tell them that we hope you learned something from the message room and the Chesapeake Bay. And it will give the player the option to return to the main menu. And that's it for our project. Thanks for tuning in.